Hello, this is Metzaka with another short tip for you. And this time I will show you how you can duplicate objects in different ways. Um, so let's see, we, we have a default cube here and let's say we want to uh, duplicate it simply. Then we can hit Shift D, which will give us a duplication, duplicated object. And if we now edit this, you know, the original doesn't change. Um, so it's, it's called a shallow copy. So what it does is it just copies the data, um, but it doesn't um, link the objects uh, to each other. Um, so if you change one, the other one doesn't change. Pretty uh, simple stuff. If you um, hit Alt D instead and duplicate it using that, you can actually see that if I go into edit mode, both um, show up. I can't select this one, which is a bit um, weird UI wise because you know I can only change the right one because I'm editing it, but the other one still I I don't know. It's 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 a small thing, but um, yeah, and then you can change one of them, and the other one will change accordingly. So that's pretty easy as well. What you can also do is if you have an arrangement of multiple objects and you want to reuse that, you can uh, group these by selecting all of them uh, using shift and right click and hit control G, which um, joins them into a group and you can set the group name here. Let's, let's call it cubes. And what you then can do is you can hit shift A, group instance, and then your groups will show up and we have cubes over here. Um, be careful, the, um, the group instance is always centered around the center of the scene. So let's say if we um, put this far, far off, you can see the pivot is a, is a bit weird and uh, bad. So if we present it right around the center, we can actually like get a lot of group instances. And if we change one of them, uh, if we change the original one, because these aren't editable, they are just, uh, yeah, instances. But um, yeah, the other ones will change. And this isn't only a neat trick to duplicate objects uh, in an easy way and to work procedurally. It is also saving a lot of um, GPU memory because every single one of these objects um, if you load them using group instances or using the uh, shifty, you know, so that they are linked. No, the, the, the alti, the alti is the linked uh, one. Never mind. So if you duplicate using alti, it also creates an instance of the object, which means that your GPU only has to load one of them and then duplicate it internally, which is a huge uh, power saver. So. If you can use Alt D or group instances, always do that. Oh, also I forgot a little thing. Um, yeah, we're back in the default file again. Um, if you forget to link them, so let's say you create a shallow copy, not a deep one. So using Shifty, um, and you know you make some changes to it, and then you realize, oops, the changes didn't show up for the second one it is very easy to link them again. So we can just uh, select this one first, then shift select this one. So this one is uh, focused, which you can see by the uh, yellowish line instead of the orangish. And then you can hit control L and select object data. And that will link them uh, together again. Also, if you, if you have multiple objects and you want to randomize them a bit, which is um, quite often the case. So after you, you worked um, through your procedural stuff, let's say maybe you also edit like two loop cards to make them like pillars. Um, and let's say I want this one to be higher. You can easily unlink them because like if I want to change this one without the other one, no, it doesn't work. You can hit U and hit object and data and that will unlink the two objects again. It's very easy to work with um, and I hope that, that helps you a lot because yeah, you often forget to link things. <laughs> See you.